your cameras on and be able to see your face that would be great and if not that's okay too um we are here today to release emotional triggers now this time of year it's supposed to be about joy and connection and happiness the holidays sometimes pushes those little buttons and activates those like moments where we're all like oh so who here makes better choices when they're calm i know i do <laughs> yes that's right thank you and probably i'm gonna guess that we also navigate relationships better when we are calm yes yes so what we're gonna do today is we are going to learn where these emotional triggers come from and we're gonna take a step towards creating greater ease in your body and your mind. Who's in? I know I am. All right, awesome. So as we get started, I would love for all of you to start thinking about the emotional trigger you would like to release. Perhaps it's something like somebody says something and it just makes your emotions go like this and you tighten it up, or maybe they do something, maybe, someone in your household leaves their socks on the floor all the time and you're just like oh <laughs> can't handle it anymore um, what I would like you to not do is do not pick a, a trigger that's attached to a major trauma I am very good at helping people heal trauma but I like to do that one-on-one -on -one where I can hold that space for you and be with just you and not be paying attention to so many things at once. So first we're gonna do a little broad sweep. I wanna tell you some important things about your unconscious mind. Your unconscious mind is 95% of your brain activity. 95%, you guys. That's a lot. That means it's doing most of the things. And it takes over the show whenever you're tired, sick, depleted, distracted, stressed, all of those things. We are constantly taking in and processing 11 million bits of information per second. But our conscious mind is only aware of and dealing with up to 160 bits. That's it. It's a tiny percentage of all the information we have coming in processing. Your unconscious mind remembers every single thing you've ever been through. Everything from the time you were born all the way to now. It's in there. You may not have conscious access to it at the tip of your fingers, but it is in there and we can access it. So what is a trigger? trigger essentially is an anchor to a neurological association so what is an anchor or I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> I went a little bit backwards there we also have a if everyone can mute that would be wonderful beautiful thank you so a trigger is an anchor to unprocessed emotions and an anchor is a neurological association from one thing to another. Now, I know every single one of you knows what this is. So quick, so fast, your brain didn't even have to think about it. You knew what that symbol meant. You knew the brand it was associated with. That is an anchor. This symbol is an anchor to the brand Nike. So fast, so quick, it's like you have no control over it. Now, anybody have a smell that has brought you back in time, right back to that place? Can anyone relate to that? Yeah, that is also an anchor. And often the feelings come rushing up, like maybe the smell of grandma's cookies. And they, a song. Or maybe a lover. Maybe a wedding day just brings those emotions, feeling you up, feels so good. These are anchors, and they're anchored to your nervous system, to your neurology. And anchors are created through repetition, like this. We've seen it a million times. And 
and through emotions. Now, emotion events register to your nervous system as trauma. And basically what that means is it means that at the time, in the moment, whatever it was that happened, you did not have the resources to fully process the emotions. And most of these moments, these overwhelming moments that anchor themselves into our nervous system happen when we're very little. Because let's face it, we don't understand the world yet. There's a lot going on. And as a little kid, a lot of stuff is overwhelming. So when that happens, the circumstance of whatever it was gets anchored to those unprocessed emotions. And then whenever a similar circumstance comes up, it will trigger those unprocessed overwhelming emotions. And the part that really makes us like all like this is it brings us back right back to that time, like that smell. And all of a sudden we are stuck with the resources in that moment that we had. And when we're little, we don't have a lot of resources yet. We know how to yell, we know how to freeze, we know how to hide, but that's kind of about it. We don't have these great communication skills to sit down and talk something over. So when we're brought right back to those unprocessed emotions, we are stuck right in that space. So I want you to remember these things. And emotions and repetition create an anchor. Your unconscious mind remembers everything. It's all in there. And a trigger is a circumstance that's anchored to unprocessed emotions. Okay, that's fine and great, but how do we get rid of this? <laughs> like, I don't want these anymore. So we are only ever consciously aware of part of the picture. Remember those 11 million bits of information coming in? We're only consciously aware of a tiny amount. And so what we need to do is we need to collect more information, more resources to be able to have those emotions process and then unattach themselves from the anchor. And we do this by clearing the emotions at the very first time that you ever had that emotion. It's sort of like a string of pearls. You take off the one end and all the rest of the pearls just fall off. So to do this, you are going to trust your unconscious mind. Your unconscious mind has been doing a lot of work for you for a very long time. It is the thing that drives you home when you are distracted, not paying attention, lost in thought, but still you arrive at home. It's got your back. It always is trying to do good for you. So I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna go over this diagram and I'm gonna go over it rather quickly. You may or may not consciously collect all the information, but trust that your unconscious mind has it. And then we'll go through and we'll do the exercise. So here's the diagram. Okay, so what we're gonna do first, here you are in the now and I want you to notice that there's a direction the future goes for you and a direction the past goes for you. And here you are, you're going to take that emotion, you guys remember or that trigger, do you guys remember that trigger that you were going to work on? Take a moment right now and I want you to notice what the emotion is that's attached to that trigger. Somebody says the thing, notice what the emotion is and just grab a hold of it. Grab it so you know what it is, so you're conscious. It might be a cocktail of emotions. It might be a little bit of anger, it might be a little bit of anxiety, maybe it's a little bit of sadness, may, whatever it is. There's a specific cocktail of emotion that's attached to that trigger. So just notice what that is. Okay, so when we do the exercise, you're gonna light up that emotion wherever it exists in your neurology. And you're going to trust your unconscious to take you back, trace it back to that very first time that you ever felt that emotion. Now, remember, your unconscious mind remembers everything. You do not need to consciously remember the contents of the event. 
And then you're going to rise up above it to the learning position, way up above it. You're going to allow new information and learnings to rise up to you. You're going to collect those learnings. You're going to file them in the place, the special place that your unconscious mind has for such special learnings. And then once we've collected all of that, we're going to fill our body with a color, a sound, and a feeling that represents these learnings. We're going to move back to this release position here, which is up above and at least one hour before that event or any of the events leading up to it ever happened. And we're going to release the emotion. We're going to notice that it's just gone. Then we're going to test. We're going to come back down into that first event. We're going to look through our own eyes. We're going to notice that the emotion is gone. And then we'll go back up to the release position. And then you're going to saturate your whole timeline with the color, the sound, and the feelings of the learnings. And then we'll explore the future for just a moment. Now, if for some reason when you're in that first event, if it feels a little overwhelming to be there, just step back to right before the, the event happened, before it even happened. Okay. Are we ready? Are we ready, everybody? I'm excited. <laughs> I love doing this so much. Okay. So I want you all to close your eyes and let's just take a long, slow breath together. Hold it and exhale. All right. Now just close your eyes and I want you to ask your unconscious mind to light up that emotion, that emotion wherever it exists in your neurology. Just light it up, like lighten up the lights on a Christmas tree. Feel it wherever it is in your body. Good. Good, good, good. And now as you feel that emotion, wherever it is, I want you to resolve yourself to making this the last day that it will ever be an issue for you. All right. Good. You can hear the sirens in the background coming to take away this emotion from your nervous system. All right, so go ahead and I want you to, as you feel that emotion, I want you to trace it back. Ask your unconscious mind to trace it back. Trace it all the way back through time, all the way back to the very first time that that emotion or emotion cocktail was ever an issue for you. Trust your unconscious mind to take you back all the way to the root cause of that emotion. Taking you back, back, back all the way to that very first time right now. And now wherever it's got you is right where you're supposed to be. And you may or may not be aware consciously of the content of the event, but that doesn't matter, does it? No. And I want you to go ahead and find yourself right there inside the event. The first time you ever experienced that emotion. I want you to notice that you can become aware of the emotion. Aware that it's present there. And then if you need to step back to that place of safety. All right. And now... Are you guys ready? We're going to rise. I want you to rise above, rise up in the air, way up in the air, rapidly and unconsciously, way up high towards the heavens and above the heavens so that you're way up in the air and you're looking down on that event. It seems so small, so insignificant down below you. And then I want you to get twice as high up as you are now and push that event down so that it's a tiny little speck. So insignificant. And there you are in the learning position. And as you're there in the learning position, you know what it's time to do. It's time to learn. <laughs> to really learn. There's something for you to learn from this event. Empowering learnings for you 
and your future, which when you preserve those learnings now will allow you to release that old emotion easily, effortlessly, and completely. So I want you to allow those learnings to come up to you now, the positive learnings for yourself in the future. Just allow them to rise up. Good. Good. And as each of those learnings come in, I want you to just catalog them at the unconscious level. Put them in that special place you reserve for all such special learnings in such a way that they can change your future in a powerful and positive way. Stay up there. I want you to ask your unconscious, what else? What else is there for you to learn? Good. Allow those learnings to rise up to you now, cataloging them at the unconscious level. Yes. Good. Let them rise up. Powerful, positive learnings, which when you preserve them now, will allow that old emotion to release easily, effortlessly, and completely. Good. Good, good, good. All right. Good. And now, as you've collected these learnings, knowing that you've collected so much more information than you ever had before, that it's going to make it so easy to release that emotion easily, effortlessly, and completely. I want you to imagine now if those learnings had a color, what color would they be? Yes, that's a good color. I know it is. And now I want you to imagine right now the top of your head opening up. I want you to invite in from up above an infinite source of that color to enter your body and fill you up as if you were just a hollow vessel, saturating every muscle, nerve, fiber, and cell of your being all the way down to the molecular level, the quantum level, the space between the space, filled with the color of the learnings you are an expression of the learnings and there's more if these empowering learnings for yourself and the future made a sound what sound would they make i want you to hear that sound right now emanating outward from the core of your being vibrating every single cell in your body Good. And now if these empowering learnings had a feeling, I want you to imagine that feeling now. The feeling of the learnings flooding through your consciousness, filling you up, imprinting at the cellular level of your body, making all the connections you need to make and will continue to make tonight while you sleep. As you remain way up high in the learning position. Not yet. But in a moment, I want you to take the color, the sound, the feeling of the learnings and move back to the release position so that you're at least one hour before this early event ever happened or any of the events that led to it. Go ahead and move back to the release position now. So that you're looking down on the event, it's way down below you and in front of you, it hasn't happened yet. And then go ahead and get twice as high up and twice as far back and notice how easy it is to just let go of that old emotion and how good it feels to be replaced by the learnings at the unconscious level. And it does feel good, does it not? As you continue to bathe in the color and the sound and the feeling of the learnings, looking down on that event seems so small so insignificant it hasn't even happened yet all right now to notice the emotion gone and we're gonna go ahead and 
drop down into that event and test. I want you to float inside the event, look through your own eyes and notice the emotion completely gone now. Good, good. And then float back up in the air so that you're back in that release position, bathing in the color and the sound and the feeling of the learnings. And I want you to take those colors, sounds, and feelings, and I want you to splash them forward throughout your entire stream of time, all the way from this moment, all the way to the now, really saturating every moment, especially those moments where that old emotion showed up. Just neutralize it with the color and the sound and the feeling of the learnings as you stay above the time stream coming all the way back towards the here and the now, continuing to bathe in the sound and the color and the feeling of the learnings. Good, good. Now we're gonna explore the future. I want you to go ahead and imagine yourself in three scenario, situation, and circumstances where that old emotion would have affected you, but now you see yourself embodying these learnings at the unconscious level. You are filled with the color and the sound and the feeling of the learnings. They have integrated into all your cells, your consciousness, your unconsciousness. Go ahead and see three future scenarios. Good. Mm hmm You guys are doing so awesome. And once you've seen those three visions of the future, making all the connections you need to make and will continue to make tonight while you sleep, you can begin to gently reorient yourself to your surroundings. And as you are ready in your own time, you can open your eyes. Welcome back. Now, if anybody is planning on getting into a vehicle or operating heavy machinery very soon, stomp around, get strongly in your body before you do so. That includes chopping onions for dinner. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. I feel Whoa. like I just time traveled. Whoa. You did? <laughs> so you does that did. go for operating Zoom? Do I need to stomp around? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That was and incredible. Of course, thank you. If anybody, of course, has any questions, feel free to send me. They can chat us in Guidely, right? Send they can. Message. Yes. I also yeah. sent a link in the chat to book a, a session with Jenea. Um, you know, I believe that triggers are something you can go deeper one on one. Also, trauma work, as Jenea mentioned in the beginning of this call. Um, yeah. yeah, feeling a little. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> right. oh. work. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to give to you today. It is the season, not just of joy and connection, but of giving and generosity. So thank you so much for allowing me to contribute to your world today. Thank you so much. And uh, we we have a tradition here where we invite everybody to uh, unmute and say. Uh, Hello and good. Oh, look at Eric. Oh. <laughs> fun, fun. Say goodbye with volume. Yeah. So, <laughs> thanks Love for it. thanks for joining us tonight. Really great to see you. Um, we, for those of us who are members in our community, uh, we will be meeting here again next Tuesday. So those of us who are not and would like to join, reach out. We'll. Um, have you uh, added to our wait list and uh, you'll get an email with an, uh, easy oh. instructions for you awesome yeah and um yeah we like let's, easy <laughs> yeah <laughs> let's unmute and say good night
night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you so much. Good night. Good night, Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, everyone. Right, Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye.